theoretically, this should get to 212. With the sun shining, it's really not too bad. Absolutely trash. It is so bad. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not at all looking forward to this video. I bloody hate the cold. Oh, get the sauna. My feet are frozen. Most of these poles are broken. Not great. Where's the, oh, the tubing's on here. All right, let's get you into position. I'm stuck on a tree, a bush, I think. Probably the best way to put it. This thing is literally falling apart. All right. Okay, fridge can go over there. Let's get this bad boy plugged in. I'm actually gonna get it, I've, I've got it boiling inside and I'm gonna start running it out here. And then I'll film the bits of me plugging it in, in a little bit. Come on, you dumbass, turn on. There we go. Plugs on. I just turn them off. Okay. Why aren't you starting? Oh, my feet are freezing already. Maybe I should have just worn wellies to get this started. Why aren't you turning on? That's weird. It's just not ideal. You're on, aren't you? Yes. What is going on? Power, yes. Dude, I'm gonna go chain my shoes. This is so cold. Be right back. Okay. All right. So there's power. Let's see if it powers the fridge. Cold, so you're not turning on. Okay, you are turning on. So then why, but I don't actually need you on. Why is this not running? Hey? I literally just had this on. the hell? Why aren't you working? Yes, there's power. What? I'm going to have to plug you inside and check if you're working or not. Why is that? Right, plug on the side of the house. 
That's not working. There's no way this thing's just actually just broken. Is there? No, can't be right. All right, when I give it a good bang, it works. So I guess I'm just gonna have to take the screws out and figure out what, what the problem is. So back in a bit. All right, panic over. That was a pain in the ass to go and do, but it gave me an idea for the second video. So I got to film two shots here. All right, uh, yeah, but it gave me an idea for, because this is going to be day three. I actually filmed day one yesterday, but day two, I haven't filmed. Obviously, I wanted to take advantage of the snow. I think this was the right move. But day two, what if at the very beginning or the climax of the video that we never actually finish off because the what's it called, dies. So then I have to switch over or I have to go and get this. And so then I say like, I'll try again tomorrow. Maybe. That's what I'm thinking. Anyway, let's see if we can get this to work. I'm hopeful. This thing sounds like it's going for it. In my face. I can see steam coming out, which is a plus. But that's no good. Um, I might have to actually just thread this in through the front. And just have to go tight around it. Right, that looks good. Honestly, I this might be the, flat out the worst purchase I've ever made on Amazon. And I, I think I've made, a, I would say a good couple of hundred purchases on Amazon. Worst. But we're moving. You know, put that one up there. So theoretically, if this steamer is at 100 degrees centigrade, hey Siri, what's 100 degrees centigrade in Fahrenheit? That's called take your time. 212 Fahrenheit. So. Theoretically, this should get to 212. Yeah, I'm not crazy hopeful about that. But I think we leave that for a few minutes. Oh, hi, Rocky. Rocky, come here. Just the neighbor's dog. Rocky, come here. Come here. Hi. What are you up to? You out in the snow? Are you playing? You playing in the snow? What are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? Did you get out or are you meant to be out? 
Should we go and take you back? All right, let's go take you back. Come on in. Come on, Rocky. Let's go home. Oh, sorry, Rocky. Hey, come on, come on. Good boy. Hey, a good boy. I think you could do with a new fence, Rocky. Hi, Rocky. Give me, give me some. Hello. It's okay. Hi. What you doing? I know. Get down. Get down. Get down, you crazy boy. What are you doing? It's all right. It's a good boy. It's okay, it's all good. It's all good. It's all, it's all, good. Yeah, it's all right, it's good. Cool. Yeah, good one. All right, I'm gonna go straight inside, get the other camera, get changed. Like this video is set up so that at the end of it, I do snow angels and I'm not excited for that. I'm acting like in the video, I'm acting like I'm excited for snow angels, but that could not be further from the truth. I am not looking forward to that whatsoever. Is this thing even steaming up? I need to put the cap on that thing on the inside. Let me see. Ow! There's no way you've just suddenly started coming out. Well, it's coming out. So I'm gonna go get changed, I'll be right back. I'll tell you what, with the sun shining, it's really not too bad. I didn't expect myself to say that. But I'm gonna put my drink in the fridge. Cool. And then this camera gets set up. It's gonna be from this angle. I think. Oh, you bugger. Oh gosh, there's my tent. No! No! Jinkies, my livelihood. Okay. Okay, I think that's good. And then, I'm kind of just... I don't think there's anything I say while I'm outside. Jinkies, it's bloody freezing out here. Jinkies, it's bloody freezing out here. Jinkies, it's bloody 
freezing out here. Okay. Oh, that feels good. It's getting there. I feel weird watching the neighbors' kids. All right, it's time to get in. Oh. It's, it's the ground that's so bloody cold. I threw a thermometer in here, where is it? Oh gosh. I thought I put my thermometer in here. Oh, it's in my pocket? Yeah. Currently 70. Oh. oh, right. It's a bit better on my feet, not great, but. my hose ah it's hot that's my hose right there it's giving me all my steam Just wondering what my neighbors is thinking. Just wondering what my neighbors are thinking. My mic definitely isn't waterproof. That's not a good sign, is it? It's just, it's broken.
Now they say saunas are great for mental relaxation in the morning. No, what? Cheers. It's good.
quite nice. Oh my gosh, that was a stupid idea. Give me that towel. Oh. Dumbest idea ever. All right, I'm gonna go warm up. Well, I know I'll, I'll clear this up now. Hang on. Well, 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 if it isn't... Hey Siri, pod vlog quickie. You will need to unlock your device. Pod vlog, oh goodness sake. Pod vlog quickie. If it isn't the tenacious tip of Tiptonville, Tennessee. I don't, you don't need, that's okay, you've done, thank you. Um, all right, it's been a long time. The day has gone incredibly quickly. I've been in a bit of a rush to do things. Um, so the sauna series that I was doing over the weekend, I shot day one, two, sorry, I shot day one and three over the weekend, and I shot day two this morning. Why you ask, that's weird. Uh, so day one I shot, this all kind of, I came up with this idea because a brand is doing a partnership, I'm doing a partnership with a brand for a portable power station. And the idea was to do an at home sauna. And normally I would do it, you know, day one, day two, day three in a row, surprisingly. But it turned out that as I was filming day one, it started snowing outside. Now, as I'm filming day one, it's late, right? It's getting dark, can't squeeze enough in. So I decided to, we skip day two. We throw in number three, get that done outside in the snow. And then I filmed day two this morning. But there's also another reason for that. Because number, okay, um, number one, day three is, a, is this partnered post and that's gonna go up Wednesday because it's the partner post which sits in the middle of the series that I'm doing. But to get that video approved, I need to send it over tonight. Now, is that video ready to go out tonight? <laughs> no, no, it's not, because I only just finished part one, which seems to be doing quite well so far. Um, I'm actually really pleased with how it came out. It's a cool video. So I'm going to edit part three or day three now and get it sent off for approval tonight. And then I'll edit day two tomorrow morning to go out in the afternoon. But also I have a video to shoot with this drone here. It's called the Hover Air X1. Let's grab it. Honestly, I'm not sure how this works. It's got three steps, so it can't be too difficult. <laughs> Go this way? Yes. All right, so, hover air, hover air. Hold it horizontally in the palm of your hand. Press the power button once waiting for it to take off. I guess I just hold it down. Something's happening. Current mode, hover. Please connect to your phone and activate your device with the hover app. No, fly. Please connect to your phone 
and activate your device with the hover app. Mate, that's so annoying. Before your first flight, for your for your first flight, please fly outdoor for a better flying experience. Nope. We're gonna fly inside. I guess I have to download the app. Hover air. While that downloads, I it's funny how this works, right? I found a video this morning, it was an ad for a company that makes at-home saunas. And the one I've got was like the cheapest one on Amazon and it is absolutely trash. It is so bad. Um, I mean, as you've seen from other videos, the state of it. And I was gonna message this brand this morning and say, let's, you know, let's see if you're interested in some kind of partnership. And I was like, you know what? Let's have a little bit of patience. I know time is not on my side because this is a day type of series, you know, day one through five. But let's wait until I've got a video up online which they can see so they get an idea of what the video is gonna look like. So I, I sent that to them a few minutes ago. We'll see if we get a response. And if we do, maybe we can you know, work something in for day five and get paid for it. That would be quite nice, wouldn't it? All right, uh, hover is, do not fly in those environments. Okay, tap to activate, yes. Allow access to location. Allow while using app, yes, use Bluetooth. Okay, let's connect. So the video idea that I pitched for this was I would be on a hoverboard and essentially I'm playing a game of hide and seek with this because it's meant to be really good at following you. Like I love, I really, I love the fact that I've, um, and I, I, I feel like I can say it this way because I've, I've given up on a lot of opportunities in terms of monetary opportunities shifting from the video content I was doing to what I'm doing now. And I'm so glad that instead of the brand reaching out and saying, we'd love to do a video on this and my type of content being that I just go over the specs and the features, I now get to come up with an interesting idea that I find fun to do that they're also interested in. I mean, that weirdly is the exact shift. I've gone from talking about the specs and features of something like this to using it in a fun sense. And I like that brands are starting to see that actually advertising now is about entertainment versus just the specs and features. Um, so flashing blue light means it's updating. The update will be completed in 10 minutes. Okay, so maybe we won't do this immediately. What are these different modes for? I don't know. While that updates, let's check on the video. This is probably one of my worst traits, things that I do is that I can't constantly check on the like notifications, how well a video is doing. And it's bad, because it's just a waste of time. There's no reason to be continuously checking it. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know why I'm saying, but yeah. the. The GPT script, I have mentioned it in the last few videos, is, has been so good for the last few videos and I, I've even prompted it for what would be for this video. So it's the prompt already has the algorithm, the formula that I have for videos loaded into it and I provide it with what I'm gonna be doing in the experience. So like in this case, uh, 32 year old male flies a drone designed to follow you to play a game of hide and seek 
to test the like, ability of this. And then some factors to consider, I've just added in like some other small things. And it writes it in a style, like a very similar style to how I would. Do we do it? The device will hover after completing the flight path. Please hold out your hand and place it one foot below the device and wait for the device to land on your palm. Continue. Hover. That's quite cool. So then you got different modes. Cool. So that works quite nicely. What other things does it do? Shake your booty. Your booty. Um, you, you might be wondering, Oliver, you seem in a very good mood. Yeah, I do seem in a very good mood. That's because the video I just made, I'm really pleased with. Okay, we have to charge it. Yep, I think I understand that bit. Oh, okay. Don't stick your finger in between the blades. That's good. Are you going to tell me what the different modes are? Nope. No? Okay. I guess I'll just look in the app. Firmware update failed. Before you start in your flight, pick up the hover and f follow me. Complete eight tasks. I, I think that was my fault that it didn't connect because I went off the app. Custom snapshot. Yes, it is working. Please hold it in your palm horizontally and align the camera to your face. Here we go. Use the other hand to short press the power button. Continue. Snapshot. Oh, it's going to take a photo. Not enough surface pattern for stable flight. Please fly in an environment where the ground texture is clearly visible. I have the option to just say got it, so I'll I'll say got it. Strike a pose. Continue. Snapshot. I'm not following the rules it says by the way. Land. Okay. What are the modes? So we have just hover, zoom out, follows you, orbit, bird's eye, snapshot, or manual control, or dolly track. That's quite cool. Honestly, I like. I love the simplicity of this actually. Look at that, just you tap on any of those to do it or you just press the button on here. I, just, I don't know which one's which, but yeah. And then you, and then that goes in your bag. 
That's quite cool, isn't it? Quite like that. All right. Um, yeah, one of the other things, they wanted to talk about some of the features, like the different modes in here. So I just have to figure out how to lace those in with the... Um, with the story. So like I'm thinking that I have it on the wrong mode, which gives me an opportunity to go into this, these settings here and change to the right mode. Or as I like tap through them to figure out which is the right mode. Not sure yet. Honestly, um, I wasn't sure how good this would be. Like they're on standby at the moment as to whether we go forward or not, because I wanted to test it out first. And I'll give it a try tomorrow. Oh, I'll set it to vertical mode. Dude, video quality, you have 1080, 1080p, so 1080, 30 FPS, 1080, 60 FPS, or 2.7K at 30 FPS. And then you can change all the settings too, sound recording, on. Dude, this is quite good. I need to, my primary focus right now is editing the video. So I'm going to get back onto that. How are we doing? We've been up for about 10, 15 minutes and we are at fourteen hundred views. Not bad. So fourteen hundred views and one hundred and eighty six likes, which is looking at Probably about 15% engagement rate. Not too bad. All right. Then let's, I'm going to get editing this next video. It'll be interesting to tweak the video as I get more information from the people who are watching the current video, like things they think about it. Yes. All right. Do I, I had some things. Pod vlog quickie. All right. Um, oh yeah, it's just, I saw a TikTok about this. I think it was Jordan Peterson. And he was saying, if you have a problem and you go to someone with that problem, you should also go with a solution. This was something I, rec like I realized probably like, eight or nine years ago now when I was started working for someone was people don't want problems brought to them. And this kind of goes two ways. It's like you've got to make yourself look better and you have to help the other person out. Because if you help them out, they're going to like you more. Um, so if you have a problem and you go to your manager and saying, here's the problem. It's kind of like, okay, now it's your problem. Deal with it. But if you go with the with a potential solution, at least like, you know, these are the things I've thought through. This is a solution I think could go, we could go with. It shows that you, you're, pro, you're proactive in what you're doing, what you're thinking about, that you're switched on and that you're trying to solve a problem for someone else. They could very easily just say, no, that's not right. Let's do it this way. And you say, okay, like F me. Uh, but I think that's very important to... If you have a problem, try and find out a solution. Next one. Um, yeah, I had a bloody, it was a really good start to the morning today. Really good vlog edit. And then uh, filmed the day two video. 
and then went to the gym or tried to go to the gym but i couldn't go to the gym because my car battery had died so that was that was great um and then my car then my camera battery was dead which is why we didn't have the first part of the video in the car this morning which we normally do and then so i had to take my wife's car to the gym this morning and because it snowed here i've been driving her car if i've gone to the gym or whatnot and i always bring my key in from the car where she always leaves her key in the car and the last few times i've been bringing her key in just out of you know it's been in my pocket the whole time because it's touched to start and I've, I've, in my head, I've realized that's kind of annoying because for her, if she goes to drive her car, she's expecting the key to be in the car, whereas I've brought it in. And it's just a small thing about being, trying to be better in a relationship. So I could very easily just, like, it doesn't matter. It's not my problem. It's her problem. Like, she should be bringing the key in anyway. But I'm transferring a difference that I've made in her life and now she has to make a difference as a result of it. And all it needs is for me to make a difference, me to make the change that then doesn't make her have a change. Like it's for me to not be lazy and to think about her. Yeah, yeah I mean, you, you, maybe you get the idea. I'm going to edit this second video, so see you in a minute. All right, you little sex beast. Super weird. All right. Excuse me. I'm going to record my screen. We haven't done one of these in a while, have we? Um, I'm just going to look through. This is the video that's going to go off as a draft to the client tonight. And... I'm going to have like a watch through it and see what we think. On day one, I barely made it to 10 minutes. And day two, I brought in ice water to not shrivel up. But it snowed last night, so I set up out in the snow with a portable generator. So first thoughts are, like obviously, the first two bits here you can see haven't been edited. So I need to get my hook clips and then clips from day one and day two to put in that second section. So I set up out in, but it snowed last night. So I set up out in the snow with a portable. Dun, dun, dun. March for start. I guess I can just use but the it same. Last night, so I set up out in the snow with a portable generator. Chinkies, it is bloody freezing out here. While I waited for the Solix C1000 to power the steamer and heat the. Sol I don't know what it is, but like these clips. I can never get the volume right on this thing. But they were snow angels. I think that's all of them. Go up to level three. So I guess my focus here is I've got two focuses. One, the clip is obviously good enough for people to want to watch and keep watching to tell the story. And two, that the product is visible enough in the shot. So like this first shot. But it snowed last night, so I set up out in the snow with a portable generator. For that, I don't want to draw too much attention to the product too early to make it feel like an ad. Jinkies, it is bloody free. So I'm more like demonstrating a, a scenario in which the product could be used. Freezing out here. While I waited for the Solix C1000 to power the steamer and heat the sauna, I feel weird watching the neighbor's kids. But they were snow angel pros. There I was, 32 years old, in my back garden, stepping into a sauna tent powered by a portable power station. It's, it's the ground that's so bloody cold. Stepping in was a relief from the cold air, and I felt like a mad scientist experimenting in front of the world. Just wondering what my neighbors are thinking. In my own little world, 15 minutes had passed and I could feel almost all the liquid in my body being sucked out like a raisin. So I grabbed a cold drink from the fridge. Cheers. I feel like, by the way, I like the feel of these, of like the video I edited today and this one, because it feels more like I'm, in, I'm integrating more of the real life scenario 
the comments that I make while I'm doing it. The reason. So I grabbed the cold drink from the fridge. Cheers. You know, they say in the morning saunas are great for mental clarity and then right before bed for relaxation. The max of 20. Cheers. You know, they... I'm going to cut out some of the audio here because it's pretty distracting. Maybe not down that much. You know, they say, cheers. You know, they say in the morning saunas are great for mental clarity and then right before bed for relaxation. The max of 20 minutes came around even faster and the thought of getting out into the cold gave me chills. But that was all in my head. The contrast of stepping out into the cold gave me a huge dopamine hit and I wanted more. It's actually quite nice. The kids down the street had the right idea all along, so I began my snow angels. Oh my gosh, that was a... Stupid idea. Give me that towel. I think tomorrow we try in the morning and before going to bed. Oh. Bloody hell, I look pale there, don't I? Jinkies. Before going to bed. Morning and before go and go. Almost translucent at that point. Going to bed. And we're going to bed. All right, so this one's a bit longer than previous videos, actually. It doesn't need to be that long. I'm wondering if there's bits I can cut just, out. Just wondering what my neighbors are thinking. In my own little world, 15... It's, it's the ground that's so bloody cold. It's powered by a portable power station. It's, it's the ground that's so bloody cold. Stepping in was a relief from the cold air. That's so bloody cold. Stepping in... What happened there? See? I don't need this clip, but I think I really like that clip for the kind of comment of part of the experience that you wouldn't have expected. This is day three of my five day at home sauna journey. So if we look at today's video that I posted, it's doing, it's doing fairly well. So it's at... 13, uh, almost 14K in three hours. We're looking at a pretty decent engagement too. So I think we just, we do a very similar. So I think getting into the sauna or like doing it up. That's not what I wanted. So if I get a clip of me going in. I like my back garden, stepping in. how this looks too, because the um, the steam in the cold weather outside makes it look way colder. Um, I'm gonna get a shot of me like. I think tomorrow. Hmm. Let's add the snow angel shot. What's better, me lying down or my reaction? I think laying down because I don't want to give away, like, because the storyline is that I come to a point of thinking that's a good idea. You know what? Maybe I don't do lying down. Maybe I do the running away bit. The kids down the street. Did I just... I did accidentally brought it out. Good idea. I think tomorrow... Let's use that clip. This is day three of my five day. <clears throat> um, oh yeah, me in the sauna. Bloody cold. It's, it's the, just wondering what my neighbors are thinking. Say in the morning, party. Where's the... Almost all the liquid in my body being sucked out like a razor. Cheers. You know, old. 15 minutes had passed and I could feel almost... This one. Getting out into the cold. So what other shots do I have? That one, I think is quite good. Oh wait, 
No, I want I want wiping the window down actually. That is quite good, uh, quite a good shot, but I think wiping the window down is better. I think it shows how hot it is inside. Like, look how quickly. It steams back up, yeah, but let's put a marker on that shot potentially. That's quite a nice shot, actually. And now let's get this. Where's this? Oh yeah, the thermometer broke. Day Good sign, is it? This is day three. I do like this thermometer shot. Yeah. But I think, like, while I think that's a good shot, it's quite compelling, it's useless without context. So people need to be able to understand that the thermometer has come from a place that's so hot. This is day three of my five day at home. This is day three of. So stepping in. Um, why have I got that shot there? I think. I don't like this shot here. I think getting in. What have I got here? So doing up the sauna inside and then rubbing the window. So doing the sauna inside. What have I done? I don't know what I've done. Okay. Okay, it's so not that one, this one. Oh, that'll do. This is day three of Getting my in. Day Where's the shot of me being miserable inside? Maybe that one? I don't know, I guess. A five day at home sauna journey and. <laughs> Maybe stick that in here. And it snowed last night. So this is 514. So 24 times 5. Oh gosh. 240 divided by 2. 120. 134. 134 divided by 4. 33 and a half. So 33. That was me working out how long does each clip need to be to fit into this section here. Because I don't want to do it by fitting in with the words. This is day three of my five day at home sauna journey and a day at home sauna I do actually. Journey and it snowed last night. Last night, so I'm doing it outside. On day one, it snowed last night, so I'm doing it outside. On day Okay, I think I'll zoom in here. And it snowed last night, so it's snowed last night, so I'm doing it outside. On day one, I barely made it to ten minutes, and day two, I brought in ice wall. I think I'm not gonna put in the clips here until I've edited day two, so I'll put um clips to be added 
shrivel up. But it snowed last night, so I set up out in the snow with a portable generator. Jinkies, it is bloody freezing out here. While I waited for the Solix C1, but it snowed last night, so I set up out in the snow with a portable generator. Five day at home sauna journey, and it snowed last night, so I'm doing it outside. On day one, I barely put in the snow with a portable generator. Chipped in the snow last night, so I set up out ice water to not shrivel up. But it snowed last night, so I set up so I'm doing it outside. On day one, I barely made it to 10 minutes. And day two, I brought in ice water to not shrivel up. But it snowed last night, so I set up out in the snow with a portable generator. Let's put a repetition in there. Hmm. Have a think. Jinkies, it is bloody freezing out here. While I waited for the Solix, Jinkies, it. It's bloody freezing out here. While I waited for the Solix C1000 to power the steamer and heat the sauna, I feel weird watching the neighbors' kids. But they were snow angel pros. There I was, 32 years old, in my back garden, stepping into a sauna tent powered by a portable power station. It's, it's the ground that's so bloody cold. Stepping in was a relief from the cold air, and I felt like a mad scientist experimenting in front of the world. Just wondering what my neighbors are thinking. In my own little world, 15 minutes had passed and I could feel almost all the liquid in my body being sucked out like a raisin. So I grabbed a cold drink from the fridge. Cheers. You know, they say in the morning saunas are great for mental clarity and then right before bed for relaxation. The max of 20 minutes came around even faster and the thought of getting out into the cold gave me chills. But that was all in my head. The contrast of stepping out into the cold gave me a huge dopamine hit and I wanted more. This is quite nice. The kids down the street... This is cool. Quite nice. The kids down the street had the right idea all along, so I began my snow angels. Oh my gosh, that was a stupid idea. Give me that towel. I think tomorrow we try in the morning and before going to bed. Bit of a weird ending. Yeah, give me that towel. I think tomorrow we give me that towel. Right. I wonder if I just don't need this ending bit. Yeah, I don't need that ending, do I? I think from here, I'll get my captions and then add my sound effects. And then I think that puts it at done. Audio going to part, part trois. This is day one of my, this is day three. This is day three of my five day at home. So Starts too late, doesn't it? This is day three of my five day at home sauna journey and it snowed last night, so I'm doing it outside. On day one, so I'm doing it outside. On day one, on day one. All right, I think this is just really weird for you to follow because it's just a lot of audio back and forth. And at this point, the sound effects are, I mean, it's pretty straightforward to me. It's quite a boring process. But I don't, I try not to add too many. I'm actually trying to do less and less. Um, and then I'll just send it off to the client, I think. Um, see what they think. Hopefully give the go ahead. And then tomorrow I'll let it day two, first thing in the morning, and then finish the script for the, that drone I was showing you earlier. And then we shoot it tomorrow. Oh, I've got to plug the hoverboard in too. Yeah. All right. Well, see you tomorrow.